bogs, those wetlands created by the rotting of evergreen shrubs and other plant matter, are more than just a source of peat moss and a habitat for wildlife. They also hold a secret, the remarkably preserved bodies of ancient people. The acidity of the peat in these bogs leaks into the water, giving it properties similar to vinegar and naturally preserving the bodies found within. The skin of these ancient people is transformed into a dark, leathery texture, and their hair turns red from the acidic water and lack of oxygen. Many of these bodies met their end in a violent manner, some were thrown into the bogs as a form of punishment. Roman historian Tacitus wrote in the first century AD that the Germans killed weaklings and homosexuals, disposing of their bodies in bogs. However, further research has shown that many of these individuals were not weaklings, but instead may have been convicted criminals or even victims of human sacrifice. One of the best preserved bodies found in a bog was the Grobel Man, discovered in an area northwest of Copenhagen. Modern research shows that he was sacrificed over 2,000 years ago, a common practice following natural disasters to appease the gods. The Tallinn Man, another remarkable find, was so well preserved that when he was discovered in Denmark in 1950, he was initially assumed to be a recent victim. Experts believe he was part of a ritual sacrifice, and his remarkably preserved head gives us a glimpse into the past. These ancient bodies are not the only fascinating finds in bogs. Over 270 barrels of homemade butter from thousands of years ago were discovered in Ireland, along with ancient swords in Sweden and Denmark, and even a dugout canoe thought to be about 10,000 years old. The preservation of these bodies and artifacts in bogs provides us with a unique window into the past, shedding light on the customs, beliefs, and practices of ancient civilizations. These remarkable discoveries continue to captivate and intrigue us, offering a glimpse into a world long gone but preserved in the peat of bogs.